What is going on, my fellow knights? My name is Mr. No One, and today we are bringing you guys a Infinite Warfare gameplay today. We are playing on the game mode called Frontline. For those who do not know what Frontline is, it is a extremely fun game mode, in my personal opinion. The reason why I say that is because it's a little mixture between TDM and Domination. Why I say it's a mixture between those two is that you got two rounds, kind of like Domination, both going up to 100 points apiece. So 200 total points for the whole entire game. You got to get to that many points in order to win. And yes, there is a timer. And that timer is very, very short so you guys gotta get going to the kills now the reason why i say it is tdm because it is exactly what it is tdm you gotta get 200 kills blah 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 you get the picture but the cool thing about this game mode is the fact that there's two spawn points pretty much and that's it and it's both located at the end of the match for both teams so you don't have to worry about flipping the spawns constantly and this and that as you can tell right now i am currently behind my spawn point so i'm spawn protected i have armor once i get out of that spawn point as you see there my armor goes away so i'm back to regular health be careful, do not try to spawn trap, try not to get into their enemy base because you will get killed right away. Not only that, you will also get highlighted so everybody knows exactly where you're at. It is extremely, extremely tough to try to kill these guys in their spawn protection because of the fact of the armor is set up. Now, let's just say, if you stay behind that spawn protection for a very long time, you will lose that armor and you will become very vulnerable because of that. So just be careful. It's only there to be a, a very short amount of time of armor protection. That's about it. It encourages you to get out. It also is supposed to help you out in case if you are really being spawn trapped hardcore. So just be careful. I try not to get into their base too often because I know I will get melted and it will take me forever to date just to even get them killed. Even with your specialist rig, weapon, whatever the hell you want to call it, it's not going to help too often because of the fact that armor is very, very durable. Now, if they're in there for quite a bit, then yes, you could be able to kill them pretty quickly. But other than that, you're pretty much SOL if you are, <laughs> if you get in there right away and you're just pretty much going to be on your own type of deal. Now, I do enjoy this gameplay because of the fact that I absolutely love the fact that there's no there's no trying to predict where the spawns are. You know exactly where they're going to be at. You know where they're going to be spawning at. So you don't have to worry about watching your back 110% all the time. Now, the gameplay that you're seeing here, I'm using the overkill class with the longbow and also the HVR. I don't know, the, the little submachine gun. I like using this class setup for most of the games reason being is obviously because i enjoy the sniping in this game but also enjoy the fact that i can use a sniper as my obviously my long distance and the hvk or hvr or whatever the submachine gun is as my obviously course quarter combat system whatever you want to call it now i do have an attachment for the submachine gun which is the foregrip and i highly 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 suggest everybody uses that on the submachine gun because it does reduce the kick on there so i actually love that idea uh i also got this other submachine gun as a different class setup i think i have extended max for grip and stock on there and it, it's been running pretty well so i actually enjoy this uh submachine gun quite a bit i was actually a little bit surprised on using it so at first i was like oh man this gun sucks and this and that but i started using it more and more and more and as soon as you know it i got everything unlocked for it which is really cool um but the maps on this map it is extremely hard to use this setup just because of the fact that it's such close quarters and there's really no reason for you to use the uh, sniper rifle but at the same time there's a little bit of long distance sights that you can use it on other than that i don't know i like i'd rather run the submachine gun on this map but again i have no idea mostly because of the fact that i've never really played anything else other than this frontline gameplay so let me know what you guys think in the comment section below let me know what you guys uh, thought of this class setup uh this map this game type or if you guys even played this game type because you know i personally found this game type to be a hell lot of fun it is also really just it doesn't stress me out on the fact because of the spawn points i know exactly where they're at uh again if you guys enjoyed today's gameplay please let me know in the comment section below leave a like if you guys liked it if you guys are new to the channel go ahead and click on that subscribe button it definitely helps us a ton and i do mean that very very much so again guys let us know what you guys thought of today's video let us know what you guys think of uh what's been going on on this rk channel so until then ladies and gentlemen my name is mr no one and i will catch you guys later peace